When we look at the life cycle of any building, we can see that only about 5% of it is taken up by the planning, design and construction of the building and the rest is occupied by facility management. When we look at the total cost of ownership, we can see a similar story. By now, everybody has agreed that investing in the use of BIM saves time, cuts cost and thus increases overall efficiency. So why not apply this to facility management and share the benefits of BIM in the first 5% with the other 95%? Facility management is obviously a very diverse field. From a facility management perspective, a hospital requires a different approach when compared to let's say an office building. What all facilities management has in common is that there are a lot of different parties involved. Owner, manufacturer, advisor, the building itself, the users, maintenance partners and suppliers. They all have and need the building's information and each other's information to do their jobs. Our software uses the BIM model as the center of your facilities management and the sharing of information. The following demonstration of our software is based on the office building you already saw in the intro. Our software can run on a tablet computer. This means that as you walk around the actual building, you also navigate through the virtual building. So whatever you are looking at in the real building, you are also looking at in the virtual model. Let's say we're following someone who is responsible for the technical maintenance. He can select any object and access or add its information. We can link any type of document to the element. In this case, we can see the product information and the maintenance manual. We can also look at any number of objects at once to, for example, see whether they are within their warranty period or not. In this case, green signifies that it is well within limits, blue that the warranty will expire within the next two months, and red that the warranty has expired. In addition, we can select any single element and change its warranty dates. Let's take another subject, inspection. You are free to choose and make your own inspection forms. In this case, we will be looking at an inspection standard as defined by Dutch law. In this standard, the condition of any element is rated between a score of 1, which is very good, and a score of 6, which means it is very bad and needs to be addressed immediately. With a color overlay, again, we can see at once which element has what score. Blue signifies a bad condition, and we can have a look at the report by clicking on the element. Some of the information comes directly from the BIM model. Other information is put in by, for example, the inspector or a maintenance employee. Of course, we also have direct access to any other information attached to this element. In this case, a product data sheet and a link to a relevant website for suppliers information. Continuing his work, he next looks at the floor with a condition score of 4 signified by the red color. Again, we look at the inspection report, which takes its data partly from the model and partly from our own input. The report states that the floor is scratched in such a way that repair is not possible, so we'll have to replace it. Checking the relevant documentation and other documents, we could, if authorized of course, immediately go to the supplier's website and place an order based on the accurate quantities within our BIM model. Having checked the floor, we go to another serious case, signified by the blue color with an associated score of 5. The inspection report states that the column needs to be repaired immediately, and this brings us to our management tool. Within the dashboard environment, management has the capability to monitor and control the performance of the building and its employees. It directly communicates with the model in order to present management with the up-to-date information they need to make informed decisions. The configuration you see here is what we use for office buildings. In our case, management has set a benchmark on the condition scores of the inspections they ordered. When a condition score reads 5 or 6, an automated alert on the dashboard informs management. Before any action is taken, 
Management can look at whether there is any maintenance planned in the near future for this element, or whether it might be smart to combine it with other planned maintenance. What we see in this example is that the columns have just been refurbished, which informs management that, for example, the work hasn't been up to standard or something else is wrong. Either way, they can make an informed decision. Another example of management information within the dashboard environment is the occupancy rate. Here, we see the different departments within the building and their rate of occupancy. Combined, they give an overview in the top right corner into the future based on the rental contracts and their respective expiry dates, to be found under the Contracts tab in the dashboard. Another useful tool is the QR Reader. For example, an office worker using his mobile phone can report on his work environment. He can scan the QR code attached to the firehouse cabinet and report that the cabinet cannot close anymore. Management receives a report on the dashboard and maintenance in this case is automatically notified. When maintenance personnel has fixed the problem, they scan the QR code and report the problem solved. Going back to the model, we can see that the incident has become part of the information attached to the element.